Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I was thinking the other day and I got this weird thought of a combination of cream cheese and tuna with some spices and I thought it would be so good and it was absolutely fantastic. So you got to try this recipe. Let me walk you through it. So we're going to kick things off here by adding 250 grams of cream cheese to a bowl. And by the way, this should be at room temperature because it's going to be hard to work with. Next up, 170 grams of tuna, this is just a can, and this is tuna in water. You can use the oil, but I just find this healthier. For an extra kick, I'm going to slice up a jalapeno, and this is hot stuff. Add in the jalapenos, and we're going to chop up some spring onions, or green onions, and add them into the bowl. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'd say about a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. And of course salt and pepper, and you can do this to taste. Now I'm going to grab up my spatula and mix this up. Oh, this, this is going to be so yummy. Until you get a mixture of something like this. So what I'm going to do now is make an egg wash, and I've just got an egg. Add a bit of milk, probably about a tablespoon, grab up my spoon and just kind of mix it up. All right, what we're going to do now is scoop up, oh, I'd say about a teaspoon of the mixture. Put it into the middle of the wonton wrapper, something like this. Seal the edges with the egg wash. So just kind of, you know, dance it around. Then just kind of grab the edges, fold one over the other, give it a tuck until you get kind of a triangle. A little more egg wash, and then fold one end into the middle, a little more egg wash, and the other end into the middle. Isn't this a cute little shape? Look at this. <laughs> and I should mention too, you can do whatever shape you like just as long as it's creative. And you can make about, oh, I'd say 25 to 30 of these yummy puppies. Alrighty then, what I've got here is some oil. I've heated to about 350. So I'm just gonna drop them in. And fry them up over medium heat for about a minute, just until they're golden brown. After about a minute, about 30 seconds on each side, they're nicely done on the side, on a plate lined with a paper towel. Yum. And there you have it guys, our cream cheese and tuna wontons. So delicious. So let's give these a taste test. Mm -mm, guys, these are so good. They're creamy, crunchy, love the cream cheese, the combination of the tuna, the spices, everything. You gotta try these. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. You're gonna love all the stuff over there. Subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.